Dr. Bimal Kumar Pandey from Kathmandu, Nepal. Currently, I am president of Association of Spine Surgeons of Nepal. We are very proud to be associated with Bombay Spine Society for this annual meeting. My topic today is Dog Management in Spinal Tuberculosis Current Guidelines. Aim of TB treatment is to cure the patient of tuberculosis, to decrease transmission of tuberculosis to others, to prevent the development of acquired drug resistance, to prevent relapse, and to prevent death from tuberculosis or its complication. We have isoniazid, defampicin, parazinamide, tambutol, and ciptomycin as basic drugs. Arodobus, isoniazid, and defampicin are strong bactericidal and they are very effective. And etambutol is better static. It minimizes the emergence of drug resistance. So isoniazid and nifampicin are usually used in continuously phase as well. We have other drugs in our basket to deal with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. What's the matter of debate? What are the drugs to use and their regime? How long to continue them? In our past, we used ATT for about 18 months, HRJD for two months, HR for 16 months, and we used HRJD for three months and HRE for nine months, altogether 12 months. And sometimes we used five drugs in the first two months of period, including quinolones, followed by two drugs a total of 18 months. Sometimes we used drugs, anti-tuberculosis drugs, even for two years. And more, many more combinations were there. Well, what's the current trend? American and British guidelines for musculoskeletal tuberculosis. Two months of intensive phase. Isoniazid, Rivampicin, Parazinamide, Atambutol, or Streptomycin. Four months of continuation phase. Isoniazid and Rifampicin, total of six months of ATT. WHO guidelines, two months of four drugs, Chargeri, seven months of INS and Rifampicin, altogether nine months of antitubercular drug. And what the National Tubercular Guidelines says, pulmonary and extrapulmonary tuberculosis, two months of HRJD and four months of HR is enough, that means six months of antitubercular treatment and musculoskeletal, complicated musculoskeletal tuberculosis, two months of HRGT and seven to 10 months of HRE, total nine months to 12 months can be continued in uh, complicated cases. Uh, literature also suggests, and they are in favor of short term of antitubercular treatment, six months to nine months. Even Korean guidelines are recommending nine to 12 months of antitubercular treatment in bone and joint tuberculosis. And literature says six months versus 12 months of antitubercular therapy, no difference observed by the end of 24 months. The extra pulmonary tubercular uh, patients, if they don't improve at the end of six months, we must investigate for drug-resistant tuberculosis. And we, there should be a soft suspicion of drug resistant tuberculosis when there is no showing progressive healing within four to four five months of ATT therapy or if there is increase of destruction process if sinuses and ulcer continue to discharge if appearance of new collapses if there is an increase in size of existing collapses if there is a development of additional active tubercular foci and when dealing with MR melted drug resistant tuberculosis, we have certain medicine group A, leofloxacin, paracoiline, and linezolid. And there are some drugs in group B and group C. At least we should give two drugs from group A, two drugs from group B, or three drugs from group A and one drug from group B. And if any of group A and group B drug are con contraindicated, then we have to choose the drug from group C. Treatment regime, at least four drugs, two from two or three from group A and one or two from group B for six months. Beraquiline should be stopped in six months. 
allostrate drugs should be in continuation phase and duration of the treatment, shorter treatment regime for uncomplicated cases, 9 to 12 months, and longer treatment regime is recommended for complicated cases, minimum of 18 months and can be extended if needed. Infectious disease specialists should always be there in selecting drug regime in the case of drug-resistant tuberculosis. So the current trend is intensive phase of two months HRJD and then HR for four to seven months, total duration of six to nine months. HRE in continuation phase in complicated cases. Infectious disease specialist in treating HR and MDR tuberculosis should always be there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.